All right, afternoon everybody. So today I'm working on a friend's house and uh, they have a gas stove on the second floor. And what happens is they have a leak. Uh, one of the leaks may be up by the stove, but they've definitely identified a leak here at this valve, uh, which I believe is a gate valve officially. Um, I think part of the reason is, as you can see with the blue colored handle, that is a water valve, not a gas valve. So I need to take that out and replace it with a gas style ball valve instead with just a simple lever throw. So well, the problem is, is you run that wiring over, or I'm sorry, the, uh, the plumbing, it comes down over here and it goes to a union. So in order to get all that off, I have to undo that union and undo that and then undo that one and then this one here and all the way to get to that. So what I'm gonna do instead is cut through this coupler here. You see I already got halfway through. I got halfway through and then decided I might as well film this just in case. So, a little tutorial. So I measured measured the, the coupler and then I measured this pipe nipple, which here is about five and a half inches. And then when I got my new valve, uh, the uh, union actually, it is a little bit longer than this. So this is about one and a half. And the union, let me get that real quick. I should have got all this out beforehand. So the union is almost two inches in length. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to replace this with a shorter one. Otherwise this won't quite fit and it'll be too long. So this is about a half an inch shorter than this. So when I put that in there, this is not going to be short enough. So I got a shorter one to put in there. So I'm just going to replace that. Then I can put the union in and then I can get access to here and just have to redo this section instead of all that down there, which I don't want to do. So this will shut off the, the gas right here and that goes up to the second floor and supplies gas to the stove. So yeah, another side note, this is galvanized pipe. All this silver, that whole length is galvanized. Galvanized is supposed to be for water. If you're doing uh, gas like propane or natural gas, you should use the black pipe, which is what this is. So in the future, I would recommend replacing that with black pipe. So I, I don't think it's gonna hurt anything. You know, this, that piece of pipe looks like it's been there at least 20 years. But it does leave off corrosion with the gases and that can eventually block up your valves. So maybe that is a part of this issue too. But just word to the wise, if you're putting in new plumbing, you should use black pipe for the gas lines. So I'm gonna go ahead and saw through that and then uh, go to the next stage. And go from there. Now obviously a big important thing to know is make sure you have your gas turned off before you do all this. So currently the uh, gas company shut the gas off this morning so we're fine with that. Otherwise you'll hear a lot of noise and your house will be filling up with gas. So seeing how the edge of the house is over there and there's a, a shutoff line right there if the gas was on all I'd have to do is turn that one quarter turn so that that slot is going north to south and that will shut off the gas coming through here to that so if the gas was still on you just shut that off right there at that valve and that prevents any gas from getting down to this part of the plumbing so as you can tell this one supplies the gas heater so gas is off we're good let me take this off and this off and uh, then replace this and undo this and then we'll have to put new uh, pipe dope in each of these to make sure that it seals up airtight. So that's the next step. All right, so just turn this down and start unscrewing that and also start turning this one and unscrewing that 
and then let's go from there. Now since this is turned, I have broken the seal there, so I'll have to take that completely off and repack that with uh, the solvent, the pipe dope, in order to make sure that that's sealed back up. So I just take this here, spin that one off, and then take this over here, spin that one off, and then spin the valve off counterclockwise so we'll get to that point all right so I got got down to here now when you're when I start spinning this it starts spinning this pipe pipe piece right here too so I need to clamp that on there See if I can do this one-handed while I turn this the rest of the way sorry turn this the rest of the way off So now it's loose enough. You can do that by hand. I'm trying to make this smooth with one hand on the on the phone. So there we go. So now we're just going to redo this. Put the ball valve on there. Pipe sealant coating, pipe dope for us old folks. Which actually, let me show you is right here. Best stuff. Pipe joint compound. Uh, this can is probably at least 23 years old because I got it when we moved into our house. So let me open this up for you, show you what this looks like. Uh, pipe tape, you know, the thread tape, the, the white thin Teflon tape works for water, water pipes. But this stuff, yeah, let me, I need to figure this out before I turn the camera on. This is what this looks like. So it's more of the lighter color than the darker color. It's been sitting for a while, so I'm going to stir that up. And you just apply it around the threads with the little brush. Apply it kind of liberally. And then that gets turned into the fitting and seals up any chance for the gas to, to leak out. So I'll do a piece of pipe here and then show you what it looks like. Alright, so that's what it looks like. Focus on that. There we go. And then here's a piece of pipe here. You just put it on there liberally. And then that way when you put them all together, it coats everything real nice and keeps everything from leaking. So that's what the pipe dope looks like on the applied product. All right, so what I did was I took a took the union apart. This is the the female part. It's got threads in there and then that seals on that right there. So I'm going to put pipe dope on this too. Uh, and then this will screw onto the the pipe below it and then I will tighten that onto this pipe and then when you get it all together you it here and then tighten up this ring as your last step in putting everything together so all the threaded parts get the pipe sealant so now we're going down to uh, putting the valve on so this is what we had before this is primarily for water you can tell because that's a blue cap on it blue handle uh, this is what we're going to. This is a ball valve, and with the yellow, that signifies it's for gas. And when you turn it half halfway across, 90 degrees, that shuts off all the flow. And as you open it up, it lets whatever you're hooked up to lets it flow through. So that's going to be replacing this one. Okay, so word of advice when you're putting this stuff on. Uh, you will need to orient, orientate, orient the angles the way you had before. Um, I was hoping to have the valve facing over here, but you want to make sure that it's tight, tight. Not tight enough to where it starts cracking the fittings, but almost as tight as it'll go. And then usually, if this comes around, 
and points to where you want it to go and it still has a little bit of room left you need to tighten it one more revolution and uh, bring that back around now if, if it's super tight and it's not quite where you need it sometimes you can tighten the, uh, the other fittings involved and that will get you to your correct angle so that you can hook things back up so that's something that needs to be addressed it's got to be tight tight and usually there's enough threads on there to get you at the right angle all right so we're almost done now luckily this has a little bit of play in it this top pipe because you see we're not aligned but if I push it over that will fit I get a little more there right about there so you want you need to have a little wiggle room to make sure everything lines back up so what I did is I put this one in this one was already attached from before so I screw that in then I add this one screw that in get it oriented to the right direction then put this one in screw that down and I'm going to take this male piece and get that out of the way and then put that on where are you there you are so we'll put this on there and then I'm going to screw these two together so I'll show you that in a minute okay so that's on there nice and tight and we're just gonna move this back over yeah come on move move and we'll we'll have to go this way this way to get that slid over on there so slide that hey looky there she works now you should see the pipe dope starting to ooze out that means you have enough in the threads so yeah, it's kind of oozing out there a little bit as you tighten it down so like I said you can see here it oozed out you want to put it on liberally like I said that can has lasted me over 20 years so don't be skimpy on it you know, the uh, the effects if you don't could be catastrophic so now we're just going to put that all back together and when you hit this valve when you get the gas turned on so if the valve is going up and down with the pipe that means the valve is open like I said before when you want to shut it off you run this across the pipe like that so that is off and that is on and that's how a ball valve works so I believe we are done all I gotta do is call the gas company and have them come out and leak test it pressure test it and we're good See ya.